Yes, I've come your way once again. This is your guy who was in God in Ghana, your youth advisor. I've come your way with another interesting video which I wanted to share with the youth out there. You cannot get anything at any place because it's only this channel which we will bring you the advice so that the youth, up, upcoming youth, will pick something out of it. Stay with me and stay with my channel, but all the time, you are going to receive the best out of the best. Now, let's talk about Africa. This channel is for all black Africans, both in the African countries and both in the diaspora and the Europe as well. Now, everybody is talking about the Ukrainians and Russians. My question, which I wanted to ask African leaders for a very long time, have they asked about South Sudan and Sudan? What is going on there? I learned that now the United States have blocked them. What are our leaders in Africa doing for these people so that they can be free? We, when these uh, Ukrainians and Russia started this their fight, most of the African leaders are praying that there should be peace in that place. We are not talking that there shouldn't be peace, but we have a problem in our various African countries. What are we doing? What are our leaders doing to help Sudan and South Sudan so that there will be peace in that place? We have forget the dirty clothes which we have in our various rooms. We have forget all those ones and now we are thinking about Ukraine and Russia. I call this an hypocrite thinking. Because now, you're supposed to think if you are free, if Africa is free and everything is going on well, before, if something, we can go out there to help the people out there. I have one request. If today is your first time crossing by this channel, my humble request is please press the subscribe button. It's free. And hit the bell icon. And try to like the video so that YouTube can recommend to more people out there. May God bless you for subscribing. South Sudan and Sudan have problem with their solving. They have not. And now all African leaders or the people in Africa are thinking about Ukraine. What are we going to do as a leaders, the leaders in Africa? What are they going to do to solve this problem in Africa for our people? Sudan and South Sudan, what are the African leaders are going to do? Because I know that we have the Organization of African Units, which is the OAU. And now, we cannot solve this problem for the people to be free. But let me, I'm not talking for only Sudan. Look at what is happening in Ethiopia. Ethiopia are in serious crisis. What are we doing to help these people in Ethiopia? My question is for our leaders. We need unification. And without unification, this is what is going to happen in our various African countries. Because they don't want us to be one. So they will be putting confusion in our midst so that this, you, you will see that this country is fighting today and tomorrow this country will be free. How can we gather our resources and amend a good 
bylaws for our resources so that the children and the women will be free in our various African countries. I know that Europeans have their problem, but the women and children are the people which they are enjoying most. And if you come to Africa, the women and children are the people which we have been intimidating them with. They don't have any good bylaws to bat these children and women. People are seeking for funds to go to Haiti. People are seeking for funds to go and help people elsewhere. What about the women and the children in our various African countries? What bylaws have we made to put them to to put them in the good track so that they won't suffer. They said when the last tree dies, the last man dies. But we always think about ourselves, which we don't think about the upcoming children in Africa. That is my problem. And my advice for the youth today is we should stop exposing ourselves in the, in the media, on our various media platform, and we should stop that joke. Because now we don't have books to read and know the history of Africa. But through our social media, we can be sharing this great news for, for the people out there, for them to continue with our trend, and the upcoming children, will continue so that we can change our storyline in Africa. All the time I've been saying that we should change this storyline. This is the time. This is the century. This is where we're supposed to start and preach the good news and post good videos in our various social media platforms so that the children can be watching and learn something out of it. And where we will end up, they will come and continue and share the good news. We always say that Africa is free. But I, in my mind, I said Africa, we are still in slavery. If we are not in slavery, now... Ask yourself, with your oil, with your timber, with your gold, how much income is coming to you whilst you have these things? And those people who program their country and program and amend a good laws for their countries, they are benefiting. They come and take this thing, uh, these our resources, cheap prices, and we will go out there to borrow from the IMF. My, my voice is going out to the IMF to tell the people that if our African leaders are coming for a loan to develop the country, they should bring people from the diasporans to come with that huge sum of amount which they have been borrowing to come because I know that they have plans with the they have been applying for the loan for. So, if they come for the, such loans, they should come with the money, with their contractors, to come and develop the country for us because that is what is going to help to change the face of Africa. Because if you give the money to them, they are not going to use the money and they will send the same money to save it in the Swiss they have Swiss accounts. Any leader which is coming is not coming for development. It's coming from for his or her family to make good use of the money which we have in Africa, not development. What I'm telling my fellow black people back home or Africans that we should think and manage our own affairs. We should think of South Sudan and Sudan the way peace will reign in that particular two countries. I know that we have problems in Africa, but the problem in South Sudan and Sudan has kept long. This is the time our leaders must to wake up and tell the people 
or let's go and help these people so that the conflict in that country will end. And I'm telling my youth out there that we should continue with these messages and post it in our various social media platforms so that people or the upcoming children too can learn out of it. We should stop exposing our bodies. We should stop making some unnecessary things which we will post out there so that our children will be copying. Let's make a library out of our channels because it has been, it, it is like a story which we are sharing. That is always, I, that is why always I come out and tell my youth out there that we should change the storyline. I know that now the youth in Ghana are not watching. But as times goes on, I know that they will cross by my video and attend to my some of my videos and pick something out of it. Come one day, because I know that I'm not doing this, but I'm leaving a legacy for my people back home. One day, they will listen or they will be watching and they will see that as the youth advisor was in Gordon Ghana, he's telling them something and they will follow that trend. Rome was not built in a day. That is what some of our people were saying. So I know that with, the, with our social media, our various channels, or our social media platforms, it will take time before the youth coming, upcoming youth, they will understand what we are sharing to them. I will end here with my video. And I thank all my retaining subscribers and the people who they have been watching my channel and they have not subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel and give the videos thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend to another people who they have not seen this channel. So that they can join us and watch us some of our videos. Thank you for watching. The name is Wasn God in Ghana. May God be with you. Shalom, peace be with you. See you on my next video. Bye.